Ziz, or Aziz, as his friends and family knew him, was born in Russia, and uh, he quickly moved to Australia with his family um, during his high school and younger years. Um, and he was really, he was a scrawny nerd. Um, he was never a bodybuilder type. He was very thin. He liked to play video games. And that's kind of where all this started. Ziz was quick to jump on the trend of the internet and he started his YouTube channel all the way back in 2007. Um, and he also at this time, he, he had started to work out. So he was showing off his transformation on both his YouTube channel and on 4chan, the very infamous message board on the internet. Um, and he would post to the board um, fit on 4chan. And people were amazed by his in absolutely insane kind of transformation from this very scrawny, skinny, nerdy kid into kind of the peak of, of what the aesthetic physique is that a lot of people try to obtain. Um, he had a very kind of no BS personality. He just kind of said what he thought. And I, overall, this everything made him relatable. Um, going from this kind of nerdy, scrawny, unathletic gamer into, you know, this, this chiseled, t yoked out of his mind dude that he was, I think it gave a lot of people hope and uh, it showed kind of everyone that it is possible if you put in the work. Um, Ziz was a very popular meme at the time. He had a, a ton of famous quotes uh, such as, we're all going to make it, you mirin bro. Everyone has a little bit of Ziz in them. Ziz was a 4chan meme god at the time. Before this was really even a thing, before memes, memes were even a big thing, Ziz was out there creating them. They were going viral. He was getting more popular. And at the height of his popularity, uh, he had maintained his physique. He had built up kind of a crew of friends that were all into the same type of stuff as he was, the bodybuilding, the partying. And he was doing a lot of traveling at this time, too. And <clears throat> he was in Bangkok in Thailand. Um, and he went, he was going to a sauna to take it easy after a, a long day at the gym to try to relax the muscles. And he unfortunately suffered a heart attack. And he passed away shortly after it was reported by the Thailand authorities. And uh, there was a lot of speculation as to what happened. A lot of people thought it was steroid related. A lot of people said maybe it was genetic related, um, but it did appear to be related to his heart. Um, so, so either way, it, it was heart related and uh, n nobody can say, although everybody uh, is pretty sure in the consensus is that he was using anabolic steroids that are known to be fairly organ toxic and fairly hard on the heart. Um, and he was also partying on the t at the time, so who really knows? Um, and Ziz's death really affected the entire bodybuilding community as a whole. His brother, also a meme, who went by the name uh, Chest Bra, still goes by the name Chest Bra, um, known as Sayed, and uh, it, it really affected him. Um, he made a lot of videos, he made a documentary uh, talking about Ziz, and uh, he was, Ziz was just such a positive guy that so many people could relate to, and he was sort of kind of, you know, the every guy. Um, you know, Ziz, Ziz's death really hurt us all, uh, but in, in Ziz's words, we're all going to make it, bros. Here is the Ziz pose. It's a famous pose and meme named after Ziz himself. It's still seen done in competitions, and, and funny enough, a lot of people don't even know the origins of the Ziz pose or, or who Ziz is, um, but uh, quite, quite a sweet pose. And, you know, uh, ho hopefully more people now know who Ziz is. Um, if you were a fan of Ziz, if you knew of Ziz when he, when he was coming up, uh, leave us a comment or a like uh, down below. It'd be super appreciated, and enjoy your evening.
I hope you guys enjoyed our Ziz video. You learned a little bit about the history of Ziz and how to do the pose. And uh, hope you keep on 